Well, welcome back to the bread and breakfast. Let me show you what's going on today. Last year was our first year in the bed and breakfast, and we were happy to report that we have released 523 butterflies last year. So at least that many checked in as caterpillars and checked out as butterflies. Um, today, from Jan uh, all of January and all of February, we've released 91, so we're well on our way of uh, uh, exceeding last year's. In here we have a variety of host plants that you'll find in our garden. We have them here because we bring in the caterpillars from the, from the garden. We put them on their host plants. The caterpillars eat it, turn into a chrysalis, and then emerge as the monarchs. And right today we have five that just emerged and we'll be letting them out so that they can go ahead and continue their short little life cycle. We do have one here on our little milkweed plant. He's gotten pretty big. The black swallowtails are back and those are the ones that you'll find in your gardens if you have a garden plot here. Their favorite host plants are fennel and dill and curly parsley. And we have a big guy right here. Now the host plants that are too big to grow in the bed and breakfast, uh, we go and we uh, cut off the limbs that the caterpillars or the eggs that are on and then bring them in and put them in water. And here we have some lovely examples of our beautiful yellow sulfur butterflies. And right here is a orange barred sulfur caterpillar. And here is the chrysalis, the orange barred sulfur and our cloudless sulfur make. You would definitely mistake this for a leaf and might just throw it away. But they will attach anywhere and that's one of the reasons that we keep the bed and breakfast closed unless one of us are here because the caterpillars can crawl everywhere. They can make their chrysalises anywhere. This is not an ideal place for it. Um, but this chrysalis is attached at two places, so I'm not gonna try and move it. But this will turn into one of those big, beautiful uh, yellow butterflies. And over here on our passion vine, we have our state butterfly, the zebra longwing. And it's a nice white caterpillar. And it will turn into that beautiful zebra longwing. And over here, is what its chrysalis looks like. And you certainly would throw that away if, if you saw it on a, on a bush. Um, but we're happy to give tours um, of, of the bed and breakfast and of the habitat, but we just need a little bit of advance notice, but love to do that. And looking for volunteers that also want to be in this fascinating place. The reason that this place here at Shell Point is so wonderful, it's the only place like it around. Everything else is manicured and pesticide and herbicided. Um, we have the only place where we allow the plants to grow their natural way. If we tried to trim these plants, there would be nothing for these caterpillars to eat. If they don't eat enough, they will never make a chrysalis. Only one to two percent of butterfly eggs ever make it to becoming a butterfly. So. That's one of the things we do. We try and give them a leg up and, and bring them in. If you want to learn about all these fascinating butterflies, because the more you learn, the more you love. And um, if I can say one quote that I, I saw uh, at a lecture I went to, uh, it's from Baba Dayum. And the quote goes, we will only conserve what we love. We will only love what we understand. And we will only understand what we are taught. And that's what we do here.